Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program with me and Cucumber. Okay, so last time I had some really interesting success with the um, with the uh, the moon rescue of Latris, a scientist. Um, what's this? Auto safe chip. That's our science sniffer right there. Parts with crew capacity. All right, uh, let's not do that. Uh, let's upgrade this. There we go. So we have somewhat of more of a landing strip. And we can upgrade a space plane hangar so we can have more parts. That might actually be interesting at some point. In fact, it's very interesting. I feel like we should totally do that. There we go. It's a bit of a chunk of money, but I want to upgrade as much as possible. Um, that's still level 1. That's level 2 for the operational. That's 100 science data limit. What about science? We actually have points. Ooh. Ooh, we can get struts. Strut your stuff. Or we're gonna get some more flight control, which gives us the winglet and the inline cockpit. Actually, I'm very inclined to take this um, because we've got a space plane mission. And I wanna design a new play a space plane, really. That's, that's what I wanna do. Okay, but this thing doesn't do collectible data. You run over resettable. Collectible data. Mm. You may find that I might cut recording at some points because my child wakes up, in which case I will just make a cut. Um, <laughs> that may happen during this video. Ooh. Oh, unfortunately we can't do this yet. I would like to do this. Get ourselves fuel systems. But that's just not there yet. We're not we're not that far in yet. Um hmm. Struts would be nice too though. Oh man. The brand, the coupler, the struts, launch stability thing. That's all very important. And I think I'm gonna go for this now. Yeah, there we go. Purchase all the parts. And um, let's go and build ourselves a new space plane, shall we? Let's see. So we've got the Mark I inline cockpit now, which is nice. It's going to help a great deal. Got these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, get an inline cockpit instead of the uh, regular one. Probodyne Octo. <coughs> I guess suppose we should get an Octo to help uh, stabilize things. Do we want it here though? Uh, difficult, very difficult, and it's not gonna help if we put it over here. So let's not do that just like that. Uh, online reaction wheel. That's great. Uh, I guess we need. Uh, let's get this uh, this service bay in front. There we are. And then something to just get aerodynamic. Ooh, wait. What do we have here? The small nose could. Mm hmm. That does not help. At all. Structural. Do we have anything there that can? No. <laughs> That helps no, in no no way. Maybe a battery? Chargeable battery ball. Damn. Okay, that's not going to help either. Ah, we could have another service bay at the rear here. That's fine. Let's open that up. We have more parts now to use, so why not get that battery in there? Another battery in there. There we go. Two batteries in there. glitching out. Very odd. Oh, this is better. Okay. Man. Okay. <laughs> Close that up. What's our parts limit? 255. Okay, cool. <laughs> that we don't have to worry about a lot of things in that case. 
Um, but what we do need to worry about is getting this thing aerodynamically sound. Which is going to prove to be a bit of a thing. Let's get some ram, ram jetting and going in here. Ram jetting, there we go. Ram jet here. Got a nice little ram jet. I just like that word, ram jet. And, um, so connector, yeah, we could do something with that tail, like, and then two engines next to it. And somehow that sounds feasible, but I don't think it's the best we can do right now. Okay, we don't have the other one yet, so we'll take this, bring the oxidizer, that's all fine. It's gonna help. I have no idea. We're, we're just gonna go with it. There we are. So that's gonna go there. Depending on what we're bringing, wing connector. Hmm. Tail fin. Sort. I guess we're using this. Sort of. Do not need to open that bay, that rear bay. Well, we could, but we don't need it technically. All right, let's get some uh, ailerons on there, elevons, whatever. No, no, actually, that was correct. Um, okay. Okay, nice. Um, no, not nice. This is this is good. I like this. Yes, yes, no, no. No, oh, come on. Okay, there we go. How's our uh, center of mass, center of lift? Center of lift is way forward, okay. That may prove to be a problem. <laughs> Let's uh, get rid of this tank. Just for the sake of argument. Um, where's my delete key? Here it is. Oh god. Already very insecure about this whole thing. We need something that'll draw the whole idea backwards. There we go. And that's gonna do it. That's definitely gonna do it. There we are. Okay. I like this. This is a this is a good idea. I think this is an excellent idea. Are these like why are they located so low? That doesn't make any sense. I want an angle slap. This would do. this okay. my son is coughing <laughs> do we have any retractable gear yet we do not okay so we're gonna have to deal with the, um, the gear that's like this I hate that I have a severe problem with that. Because look, it, it makes it all wonky. I don't like all wonky. It doesn't it doesn't look right. And you could say, well, cucumber, why does it have to look right? Because when it looks right, it, it will land the right way. Uh, this is ridiculous. We're not gonna make that work. So we're going to have to go with the walkie, wonky variant. There we go. No, we, don't. we only need one at the rear. Two very much. Okay. Something like this. Oh God. I don't like this. I don't like this, how this is shaping up. I really don't.
nothing I can do to fix this somehow. I feel that I should ha should be able to do something better than this. Mm. I should no. <laughs> Tips. Mm, that looks weird. No. No. Okay, hold on. This it's a good start. It's it's definitely a good start, but we haven't got what we want just yet. Let's see, when we do this, no, that's just gonna make it wonky. Okay, what if we do it? Will we do this instead? And maybe even have it scoop up at the rear. That. How'd that be? That'd be good, right? <laughs> it would suck. Um, let's do this. Why not? Why the hell not? There we go. It looks kind of like it's gonna make music, but that's okay. I seriously wish this could be done better. Yep. Alright, I really don't like where this is going. Oh man, really? It's gonna look so wonky. So completely out of space. Place. Shit. Um. Will this fly? I don't know. We need a tail fin. Have a big ass tail fin there. Just one. Just the one. There we go. Okay. Well, it, it does look like a plane. I mean, that's good. And, um, <coughs> it will probably function. Science. Let's get a thermometer in there since we need that. We've got a thermometer in here, and we've got, I guess we could put the thermometer somewhere else. It doesn't actually drag out as much, so we could put it on the fuselage. Let's turn all this off for a second. And flip it up, there we go. We've got a thermometer right there where we can reach it. Or maybe we should put it on top of the service bay. It's probably best. There we go. <coughs> All right, and um, we've got mystery goo. That's where we, we can bring. Apparently, I didn't unlock any of the other science stuff yet. That's interesting. I thought I did. I probably didn't. It's fine. Mm hmm. Okay. I really have no idea. We'll call this the, um, Kerbal, no, the, um, hmm, Valentina XS, extra small. There we go, save it. Let's see, who's going to fly this thing? Uh, Bill, you're an engineer, I don't think so. Tria, though, needs, needs some more of that experience, although, no. Oh, wait, we forgot the Octo. We totally forgot the Octo. Forget this, we're not bringing you. Can we take you out, even? Take it out. There we go. Let's put it like on top of the plane. If we need to test that, we, we can bring it. We can put an octo in here and have it work. Ah. See? I knew I had that, uh, that utility bay for some reason. Mm, it needs to be set the right way around though. No, this will work I guess. Close, there we are. Save and um, we need to put somebody in there. 
Match key. There we are. Match key, you can do this. Simulated launch part one. So I hope. Ooh, whoa, okay. Just bumped up right there. I don't know why I did that. And we're going to launch into the sun. I'm not sure if I like that. Turn on the SAS. But actually, it's already lifting. Oh, oh god. That totally didn't work. Revert flight to launch. Maybe I had a little bit too much lift there. Just a tad. Turn on SAS. Just gonna tap it lightly. Whoop, okay. This isn't working. Revert flight. Display space plane hangar. I don't know why it's flipping over. I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. Is it the is it the setup? Is it wrong? What's wrong? Is it the way I've set up the wings? Is that it? Oh, might be. Might be if we put it in canard mode, then still it would work. Slightly better. Might be it. There we go. So this should, should technically give us the same setup. Oh no, not entirely. Although, eh, it's gonna have to lift it up um, somewhat. Move this a little bit forward. Man, really? Okay, <coughs> well, um, looks like we are bringing extra fuel. <laughs> An extra tank then, that's fine. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Now it's. It's pretty much the way I need it to be. And I need this in the rear. Way back there. There we go. Maybe it's the huge tail fin that's doing it. I don't know. Could be. Save. Launch. So, it's not excess anymore, but still. I'm going to give it a go with this new setup. There we go. Oh, and still, it's it has this tendency of going up like that. What is that? Two thirds ahead. Turn on the SAS. And hopefully, this time, match key, we will not get ourselves killed. That would be nice. Oh, no. Yeah, actually, I've got some, a lot more control now. Oh, uh, yeah. This thing is way easier to steer now. Good. Let's make a turn. A turn for the worst. Yep, this is flyable. Excellent. I don't know what I did er, wrong earlier. I have no idea. Uh, let's look at our missions. We've got a couple of missions. EVA report. Vesca's recipes. Bill's lament. There's all this stuff. I'd like to know. Uh, let's see. Do we have any idea? Can we, can we see? Activate navigation to Handman's Hope, which I'm guessing is over here. Okay, cool. That's where we're flying, Handman's Hope. Good. Our speed is still increasing. Guess we should get up higher somewhat. <coughs> so that's where we're going. We're going um, up a little bit, Make a little bit more speed here. Just uh, climb to like five, maybe six kilometers, maybe a little higher. Go about 300 meters per second, and then we'll throttle down. That's fine. Man, this thing flies. 
perfectly. Magicky is happy. It's really working out. I'm happy. I'm happy this works. Just hope we've got enough fuel to reach uh, our targets. But uh, the higher we get, the less fuel we would potentially need. So it is doing a little bit of the wobbly, but that's all right. Okay, let's see the um, Vesky's recipe thing, and uh, we need to get down there, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. That's quite a long flight, actually. Wow. Just hope we can make it there without uh, ending up uh, dead. <coughs> That would be bad for Mechiki, if you know what I mean. There we are, heading straight north. Let's go on the horizon. Oh wow, yeah, this looks great. I like it. This is a nice little plane. Let's hope it lands as well as it flies. <laughs> That'd be cool. Still climbing. It is still going. Oh yeah, look at that. Huh. Okay. So Handman's um what is that handman's thingy? A crew report in flight. Okay. Crew report over handman's thingy, the gig. Okay. Cool. Are we getting anywhere near it? No, we'd have to go like way up there. That is a long flight. It's a very long flight. How long would it take us to get there? Quite a while, I'd say. Quite a while. I don't know, we still need to keep that um, power up here, it looks like. 280 meters per second is about the best we are going to do. Let's see, that's. Uh, I need to calculate this for a second. It's nice and level though. Holy crap, look at that. So, um, 287 meters per second, roughly. My calculator. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we dropping the yard mark. Okay, two eighty-seven times sixty equals seventeen thousand two hundred and twenty. So that's uh, seventeen kilometers a minute. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Times. Okay, times, um, that's a, a thousand kilometers per hour, really? Is that true? Uh, I think it, it's around that number. Is that right? Hmm, my calculator just is screwing around. I don't know. I wasn't very good at maths. <laughs> Still though, we are uh, we are well on our way, and um, yeah, this is gonna be one long flight though. Although we set off from where? From where's the Kerbal Space Program thingy? I think it's down here somewhere. So we made it here already. So that's that's fine. I think we're cool. I think we're just fine. Let's speed up a little. We go with our nice cruising altitude of six and a half kilometers. Still going strong. Just gonna increase speed a little bit. Just a tad, pushing the nose down. This thing has a tendency of pushing itself up, so. And now it's dropping down somewhat. Mechki is having fun. She's like, okay, this is cool, man. I'm happy with this. 
And why would she? Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I wish there was some way of seeing how far you are from your target. We're about, uh, I think we started over here. We're about, eh, we're almost halfway in. And we do need to land there at some point, which is going to be the uh, end of Match Key or the b greatest success of Match Key. <laughs> we need to go EVA on the surface at Vasquez Precipe, so who knows? Who knows what might happen? You know. Are we losing altitude or gaining it? No, we're gaining it again. Great. And yeah, we're, we're doing well in the fuel department. That's great to see. We uh, are actually not using our oxidizer, which we could have dumped. It would have gained us some uh, weight, but I wonder if we can still dump it. No, I don't think that that's uh, any any anywhere near our options. So we are well under 19 kilometers and 18 kilometers near build limit. We should have brought. A communitron. That's what I forgot to add. No. Not too bad. Could still redo the flight at some point, but I don't think I will. Depends. Depends on how how horrible we're going to be doing once we get there. But we're we're well on our way. We started over here. We're halfway in. It's a very enjoyable flight so far. Heading straight north. Oh, Magicky. <laughs> yeah, I think the next time we do this, we bring a communitron. The big one, maybe. Something. Something, you know, a radio. This thing, it's so ancient, it doesn't even have a radio. We're going to 7 kilometers. I think we're up high enough. I'm going to level out a little bit. There we go. And we're level. Level flight, I think. We're almost level. Yeah, we're pretty much up. Pleading off some altitude, that's okay. And man's hope, here we come. So yeah, this is fun. Although it might be a little boring for you guys. <laughs> and girls. Metzki's a girl, so I'm gonna count her as a girl as well. She's not at all happy about all of this. Well, oh, screw it. She just, you know, store experiments. I think we're gonna do the. Uh, I think we're gonna do it like this. Um, that sounds like reasonable at least. Let's look at the uh, map again. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick that one up, and we're gonna try and find a suitable landing spot at Vesca's Precipice, and uh, and then fly up here. And take Bill's lament thingy, and um, and um, basically when we land, we can store our experiment or our our crew report. Well, I hope I hope we can do that. It's going to be a lot of science involved. So at least we have enough fuel. That's that's what, that's that's what had me worried. I didn't know how much fuel we need to take in these tanks. Enough fuel to take off again. I think. Yeah. Definitely. Look at that. We can make we make a trip almost twice. We're not even a quarter in our fuel yet, so pretty efficient flying. At 280 meters per second, I can't help myself. I have to get my calculator out again. I, I want to know how fast this is. I need to. I just need to know. So 280 uh, times 60 equals. 1680 uh, divided by a thousand would make 1.6 kilometers per second times 60. Is that right? 100 kilometers an hour? <sighs> this thing is just. Really? Okay, that's not that fast. I guess it's correct. I don't know. I'm just... I'm... 
All right, we're getting close now. This is like a part of Kerbin I haven't even been yet there. We should have brought the communitron. We could have communicated so many data from all these new biomes. But I'm a dumbass. Oh. I'm not a dumbass, but in this case, I'm a dumbass. I've got a beautiful view here. Lovely mountains. The sun is out. We didn't bring... We didn't even... Oh god, we, we may have battery issues later because we only have our engines to rely on for, for power. We have no... An improvement would be a communitron and a um, solar panel. <laughs> right, I'll remember that. But I'm just glad this design works better than the previous one because I was worried. Like, am I going to be in trouble for this? Oh, oh we're getting close now. We're getting quite close now. What is the Apple apps is doing all weird like that? That makes no sense. What other missions do we have? Crew report near uh, the Mun. Plant the flag on the Mun. Receive orbit. Transmit or recover data. Land on the Mun. Transmit. Oh yeah, we do still need to land on the Mun at some point. But we're gonna get some science for that first. Science. Okay, just gonna make sure that we are on the money here. On the money, baby. We're slowly descending. Not too much though. Not too much now, Mechki. Close. Very close. So yeah. Um, this is an interesting new experience. Let's hope the landing is also an interesting new experience. Mm, I really don't know. Maybe I should just pick up the two things in flight instead and then land at at um, Vasquez Precipice and just and hope we land in one piece. Because quite honestly, that's my biggest concern. I have no idea if we can do that. Not with this setup. This thing might get crushed. So I'm gonna carry all that weight for a few seconds before I put the uh, actual gear down. We need new gear. It's also something we need. Definitely. We actually never tested the landing on this thing. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Are we getting anywhere? Close! Oh, shite. Oh, man. Really? That sucks. No, 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 no. Whoa, we just got... Oh, my God. That was... What happened? Bank. Now, get your speed back. Okay, bank, bank, back. Holy crap, that's not good. That is not good. Damn it, nose down. Oh my god, this thing is not stable at all. I thought it was stable for a second, but it's turned into a um, bit of a thing here. Why, why do you want to do that? That makes no sense. Okay. I'm gonna push the nose down as much as I can. Why does it want to do that? What's wrong here? Come on game, stop trolling me. I'm in a spin. Okay, okay, friends. I need to make need to cut the engine for a second. There we go. Level out. And then do this. Yeah, that fixed it. Man, we bled off a lot a lot of altitude there. Okay, so let's not do that again, shall we? Whew. This thing knows how to spin. That is also for sure. Oh, God. Easy on the stick there, cucumber. Easy on the stick. So, when landing, we need to take into account that this stick 
goes up very, very quickly. Uh, which uh, may or may not give us trouble. It probably will. Knowing me, it's probably going to give us a lot of trouble. Oh look, trees. Great. There's trees here. Are we anywhere close to it? Yes we are. Okay. My god. I should have brought parachutes. That's another thing. That's another thing I should have brought. Very close to it now. Okay. Alright, so don't pull up on the stick too much, cucumber. Remember. Remember your vows. No sticky. Do not touch the, sti the stick. No touching of the stick. Getting any more close? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Dropping down the nose, no problem. Pulling up, bad idea. Pulling up too much, very bad idea. Okay, our prograde is almost on the mark there. And we are getting close to it now. Oh, what got damaged? What the hell is that? Why? Why is that happening? Why are you overheating? Why is my... Why on earth is that thing overheating? It makes no sense whatsoever. Is that because of the weird stuff we did? Okay. That's another issue. That is a really rather big issue. Because if we lose the landing gear, we lose a lot of other things as well to my idiocy I am actually is there a heat signature on that how is there a heat signature on my gear what the hell oh okay we're entering Hammond's Hope crew report there we go keep data okay um, let's look at the other bits so um, activate navigation build lament that's where we're going next oh, okay might be the SAS that has messed things up. I really don't know. Okay, there we go. <sighs> this is terrible. It's a terrible thing. We actually we we have damage on our gear at the rear. Our ge our gear at the rear. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, we're gonna go straight again. Oh my god. Yeah, this design, it needs some work. <laughs> it really does. And here's Bill's Lament right there. And we need to get the Vesquez Precipi and land. That looks like hilly terrain. I'm just gonna like that. I am not gonna like that. Okay. We've got one of those things though. And that's three signs already. So great. We got that. Now the crew reports. I just hope the gear will hold. Apparently it gets very hot for some reason. It's damaged. How damaged it is. Brake torque apparently is broken. Well, could be worse. Those laments coming up. Oh, good. Reports. Keep it. Nope. No, 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 no. Let's just steer clear of all trouble. Activate navigation. There we go. We're just going to go for broke.
great thing about this thing is that it actually does a really fine job at turning. Holy crap, you can turn this almost on a piece of carpet. So that's really nice. The only problem we have now is, and that's really the truth, is um, landing. <laughs> We're gonna have to find a good spot to land this thing. And we have problems with our brakes, so that's going to be a thing. Prograde set up there, and we are heading towards it right now. Level our outs. Okay. Bill's Lament, or Vasca's Precipice. I wish, I really wish we could just see it. See where it's at, and then land. Didn't do a freaking AVA report. Okay, so we got this as well. And uh, I guess we should start our descent somehow. Gonna lower her down to about two thirds speed, which apparently is not appreciated by our landing gear yet again. What is that? Why is that a thing? I guess that's the precipice right here in front of us. Yup, that's it. I think we might be able to land her in that little valley there. And that's where we're going. Just gonna go into a little dive. No, don't go into a dive, cucumber. Bad idea. Do not go into a dive. Ever. Not not in this thing. And please, please don't do this. Don't do this. No. Don't go into a dive. No. No, it's a bad idea. No. Oh, God. It's terrible. It's just terrible. There's a forest here, too, so we're not exactly in an easy spot to land. Eh? That's bad, man. We can't land in a forest. What the hell is this? Well, we are going to. That's where we are going. We're going to land in a forest. This is a horrible idea. Yep, there's a forest everywhere. How the hell would I land here if I have all these fucking trees? We've let off some nice altitude though, but the forest? Why does there have to be a forest? Is there like an airstrip here? Please tell me there's an airstrip here. Or that the, the trees are like just objects. speed as much as I can and hopefully I wish I brought parachutes I should have brought parachutes God, for sake, son of a there's no grasslands here is there yeah we're uh, right on top of it now I might be able to ooh. no we're gonna crash Are we? <laughs> well, Meshka was fine up until recently. Oh, she yes, she's still fine. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna AVA. Oh, okay. Great, great job. Let's grab our experiments. No, I don't want to do a crew report. <laughs> Damn it. Well, um. I guess we're walking there. Where were we were close to it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, how close to it were we, actually? 
I'm gonna have to figure out where it is. I think it's, where is it? Can we tell in any way? Only if we're in the cockpit, right? Okay, well, we'll get into the cockpit, that's fine. And then figure out where we are. F, F, and B. All right, so where is our, where is it? Where are we exactly? Um, orbit map. Okay, so it's 2R, roughly speaking, 2R south east. Okay. So basically, I think, oh, I wish my nav ball would be okay. Can we tell? No. Okay, so the, the cockpit is facing down in this direction. And that is the north. So basically, if we were to walk from our wreckage and head that way, we'd get there. That's what I'm thinking. Not entirely sure. That's what I'm thinking here. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna off screen that, I guess. Because, quite honestly, I don't know if there is any other way of doing that. Um, I think we're gonna go this way. Can we run it? We can. We can leg it. So we're gonna leg it. We were very close to it, I think. I think we're really close to it. Can we just leg it, leg it? Yes, we can. Alright, so we're walking. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing that this is the way to go. I'm really not sure. I hope so. I think the only way to see would be to go to the tracking station, see where we are in rel relation to the wreckage. But I think it's this ridge over here, or this valley or whatever. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. I hope it is. I sincerely do. See, let's see. Let's go to the uh, space center for a second, and go for the tracking station. See if we can see if we were doing the right thing there. If we were heading in the right direction. Tracking station. Tell us the truth. Can we zoom in? Yep. Actually, I was right. I was right on the money there. Huh. Okay, good. We need a little bit more to write, but then we are then we are really in a good spot. So let's have a match key again and head over that little hill there. Go on match key. Keep it going. Run. You're gonna hike there. Hike, 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 hike. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna off screen this bit. I'll see you guys in a bit. And there we go. We are there. We are at Vasquez Thingy McGig. And we're gonna do this. Collecting survey data. Keep data. And the plant a flag. There we go. And we're gonna call this the uh, Forest or Doom. So just let me know that it's. Uh, Best case recipe. I think that's what it was saying there. There we are. So we got a report here. We actually made the mission with that. Perfect. And we er at least earned our ship back. And we're gonna recover you. Ooh, so that was a bit of a hike. <laughs> I had to look because I had no map ball. That got us not much science, unfortunately. What about parts? Yeah, we still need to recover the parts as well. And she had no experience gained. Yeah, that, that made sense. 
Let's see if we can uh, get our wreckage back. Cover. There we go. Three science. Wow. That's totally worth it. And some recovered parts back. Well. Okay, we're not doing that again. <laughs> Let's get back. I um, think that's a nice one for this episode. Um, oh, obviously the um, the plane wasn't a success. I'm gonna have to think about that. Uh, but that'll be for next time. Thank you all for joining me, and see you in whatever we'll be doing next in this game. <laughs>